high income earners are worried about taxes today, but also taxes tomorrow. What if I told you there was a way that you could get money, no matter how much money you make, into a tax-free bucket, never to be taxed again? The secret is something called a backdoor Roth. Because a, a Roth IRA is fantastic because you pay taxes once and you never pay taxes again, no matter how much that money grows and accumulates. The problem is if you make too much money and you're a high income earner, then you can't do a Roth IRA. How do you get the money in there? Well, there's a secret, it's called the backdoor Roth. And what that is, it's not a type of retirement account, but rather a way for those who exceed Roth IRA income limits to get funds into a Roth IRA. So there's steps to do this, but think about it. What could you do with that money never to be taxed again? Peter Thiel put shares of PayPal when it was a private stock in 1999. They estimate about $1,700 that is today worth more than $5 billion. $5 billion in a bucket never to be taxed again is pretty cool. And maybe you could do the same by doing the backdoor Roth. Here are some of the benefits and why this could be huge for you in your future. First of all, there are no required minimum distributions. Distributions are never taxable and it protects against rising tax rates or future higher tax brackets. And this is what that means for you. If you haven't noticed, the government's spending a ton of money, like printing money like there's no tomorrow. By doing that, they're gonna to have to pay for that at some point, point. and how are they gonna pay for it? One thing they might do is in your, increase your taxes and my taxes. So being in a vehicle where you pay all your taxes up front and never pay taxes again is something that you need to have within your overall plan if you wanna have success. So let me just give you an example. Let's say you did this backdoor Roth and you did it for $6,500 a year, and you only did it for 10 years, and you got a 10% rate of return you're gonna have a little over $100,000 in 10 years. That's kind of nice. But what if you never added another single penny and just let that ride? 30 years later at a 10% return, you've got over $1.8 million tax-free, never to be taxed again in any way. Dividends aren't taxed, capital gains aren't taxed, sales aren't taxed, it just grows tax-free. Would you rather have paid the tax to get the 6,500 each of those first 10 years, or would you rather pay tax on that 1.8 million on the back end? At a one third tax rate, a 33% tax rate, that might be more than half a million dollars you'd have to give up to the government. So think about the power of the compounding, the power of the tax-free nature, and how you, no matter how high your income is, you can get into a Roth IRA. Given what I just said, what are the implications? Well, the first thing to do any kind of IRA, you have to have earned income, obviously. But if you have too much earned income and you can't do the Roth, how do you get the money in the Roth? Well, the first step is you put it in a non-deductible IRA because no matter how much income you make, you can always do a non-deductible IRA. And a non-deductible IRA means you get no tax deduction, but it allows you to then do a Roth conversion to get it into the Roth. So that's where you're gonna do the Roth conversion down here because there's no income limit on Roth conversions. Because a non-deductible IRA is after tax dollars and gets no current tax deduction, you can immediately convert those funds to a Roth IRA without the normal Roth IRA income limitations. One gotcha is if you have other IRAs you have to aggregate together, there's a tax implication there, so check with your professionals on that. But this is the step. Earned income, non-deductible IRA contribution, and roll over to a Roth because there's no limit on that Roth conversion. Let's be honest. You're paying enough in taxes. And this is a great strategy for you to pay fewer taxes in the future. The government's spending money, you shouldn't be responsible for that. Take care of yourself and your family and pay as little taxes as legally possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out this next video.